Welcome to day three of my 30 day YouTube challenge. So today, after yesterday, is after editing it, I discovered that it was almost an hour and 15 minutes long. Before edit, it was two hours long. And so today I am going to do hopefully a nice and simple and easy one. It is um, so I got both of these items at the Dollar Tree. This one, of course, I got at Valentine's um, time. It just says, follow your heart. I think I had it hanging in my boutique when I had it. And then I got this that says, wash, fold, dry, repeat. So it's a little um, decor for my laundry room. So I'm going to marry these two together and so I will get all of my supplies and we will get started all right I'm back after spending 30 minutes or so looking for some sandpaper to sand off the glitter it dawned on me that I can just paint on the back so um, first thing I gotta decide is if I want it to go this way Wash, dry. I think I want it to go this way. So I'm going to cut off these strings. Yeah, really. I felt like an idiot. Anywho, all right. I'm going to paint the surface. Um, you know how much I love this Waverly chalk paint. Um, I have every cover, color. So this is the agave and it's just kind of like a teal. Um, so we're going to, and I'm just going to use my sponge. We're going to put it on here. This side. All right, I'm gonna get this covered and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And it is painted and like 98% dry. Boeing. Okay. So I like more of the distress look. So I have these little emery boards. Let's see how this does. I might just. Nope. All right. That's not going to work. So we're just not going to do that. I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to, I've never used these um, decals from the dollar store. So I'm going to peel off the back, everything but the letters first. Oh, you know what I need to do is I need to get some transfer tape. One second, let me get a little piece of transfer tape. All right, so I use the clear shelving from, you can get it at Walmart, and it is 24 feet for like six bucks. And I'm going to use this to transfer so I can keep the letters straight. So let me get a piece of this cut. If you guys have ever done any kind of vinyl work, this is just a headache saver. I'm um, a headache. Headache preventer. All right. So, where's my ruler? 
because I do want to keep things straight too. Let's see. And I'm probably overthinking this way too much, but all right. I'm gonna put this there just so I know. Um, this is the best um, transfer because it's not very sticky, so it should not pull up my paint. I say should not because, you know, you never know what's going to happen. So I'm going to pick up the wash, the word wash first. Let's see if this will... There we go. Alright. Yay. Okay, all my letters picked up. And then I'm going to set it down here. Press it down. Probably got it a little close to the edge. No worries. Now let's see. Yay, there we go. That way all my letters stay straight. Um, let's see. Pictures. how it doesn't say um it says wash dry fold repeat but it doesn't say put away how many of us stops with there i mean i know i'm guilty so wash do i want to put it okay See what my dilemma is dry goes next so I'm gonna set that over there I'm gonna get a new piece for the dry because I want it in order didn't think about that it's not really in order on the packaging so let's pick up this dry to my ruler. There we go. Come on, get off. There we go. I wonder, I was hoping that there would be room in between for the washing machine. Don't think there's going to be. Wash, dry. Okay, now we can do the fold. Oh, ruler. 
if I try to eyeball it, it will not turn out right. All right, we're gonna put the fold kind of in the middle. See if I have room for. this one placed. Right there. Okay, back again. I'm sorry. My sister called. Um, um, as I was sitting here looking at this, I want this fold to be up just a smidge, and so I'm hoping that I don't mess it up. it again. There we go. Yeah, it was just a little bit too low. It left too much of a gap. terrible about lining things up so I have to use a ruler. I'm going to go up a little bit. There. Alright. I'm going to put this one down here. Last little pile of folded howls. Alright. 
and go through and make sure everything's pushed down. We're going to seal this with triple thick. And I don't know why I'm trying to shake it. It won't shake. Alright. It is thick. Okay. Oof. And I'm just using a sponge brush. I don't remember this stuff being this thick. I haven't used triple thick in a long time. Before we moved into this house, um, I couldn't have all my craft supplies out. I had to leave a lot of them packed away. And so, I had to pick and choose what I wanted to play with and then pack up the rest. And I think this triple thick was packed away quite a while. There's an expiration on these guys, but I haven't hardly used any of it as you can see. Maybe it wasn't the best choice to seal this with this. I started to use glitter Mod Podge, but Ah, 
Here we go. All right, let's try that again. Okay, mental note, or not even a mental note, note, do not use triple thick on this project. All right, I'm going to go off camera and get this all fixed up, and then I will be back for the final part of it. Okay, I have to totally like take that off repaint it and put it back but since I had to do that I already knew that it was kind of sparse and so um, actually I could put another dot here so I added the silver dots Got the little things on decals. So I had a do over, and I might as well just make it right. There. That looks a lot better. It's not as much empty space. This is just um, acrylic paint, and I think I got it at um, Target. This is the metallic sterling. Just gives a little bit of um, metal look to it. All right. down. Yeah. That was not so. I don't know if there's an expiration date on it, but that doesn't work anymore. Also giving that a chance to dry. Alright, we're going to seal it with uh, top coat stuff. embellishments on these guys. Alright. Alright, let's get this guy sealed. See how it does.
Alright, so this was uh, not a complete fail. We were able to recover it. let this dry and I'm going to drill another hole right here and I'm going to take this black twine and I will make another hanger for it and I will hang it in my laundry room and call this a done project. Alright, so thank you for joining me on day three of my 30 day challenge and as promised I did keep it fairly simple. We made a little Dollar Tree sign so it was a follow your heart sign that I got from the Dollar Tree back in um, February and um, the Dollar Tree also had these little decals and I put it all together and I will hang it in my laundry room. Thank you for joining me and um, we will see what day four holds. Um, if you like this video, do subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so that you will get notified every time that I upload a video, which will be every day for the next 30 days. So, I'm trying to jumpstart my channel 